up to the promised land. Press the map button to display the map. Your position is marked. Some of the resources you collect. Your backpack holds them. Pick the lock. A stranger. I'm happy to split me into. You'll have to. But we. And even though I get. I figure we should. Great. Good. Now that the end. I've had to. It won't take. So. I'm going to end if you. And I. Get going. You've accumulated tons of experience points. It's almost indecent. And definitely risky. If you don't spend your experience points... for anybody. Not too sure. I want a name. 
Don't be afraid. If you're going... Seeing as how we're now... Don't move. Hmm. We can find a way of this. Okay. You will, stupid mechanical walk. If you can go for a bit of oil should value... I'll be waiting when you... Know
Great, you found some. And yours anyway. Let's fix it. Thank you. Egg down. I finally get to see you in the flesh. I've already told you, but there's something to guard against that, and every camp worthy of the name has a trunk. So, I'll explain. Wood and fabric, you can... I suggest, unless that... He goes what? But what? I mean, outside. One last thing. You'll find what you... Good luck. a piece of you, Survivor. Your
Great. Your wood is a bit rotten, and the rope a bit... I'll explain everything. It shouldn't take too long. What? in the class tell me how we're going to build our new community. Anybody? I just told you. Right, watch the board and I'll explain for the eighth time. So listen up. Creating a new community means creating the best possible camp. To do that, you and your group of survivors will have to kill hordes of zombies and complete lots of missions. That way, you'll gain experience and will be able to increase the level of your camp. The higher the level of your camp, the more your group will be able to build new structures and upgrade existing ones. Camp construction is everybody's business. But mind you don't neglect your level and equipment. The surroundings will become more and more hostile, and you'll have to be tougher and tougher, and better and better equipped to survive. So, is everything clear this time? Look at the board, I'll explain it a ninth time. Listen up. At ease, soldiers. I'm sure the most experienced survivors can remember that I created a survival guide. It's brimming with tips on how to survive among zombies. Remember? The less you eat, the less stamina you have. So you won't have the strength to fight the zombies. So remember to eat. First, causes dizziness and headaches. It becomes hard to concentrate and make critical hits. Remember to drink. In my time, we knew how to fight barehanded, and we were ready to drink urine to survive. Today's young people are always walking around with a bunch of useless items in their backpacks. So here is a third tip. If you're overloaded, you run slower and slower and can't get over obstacles. So check your backpack. 